Hello and welcome. I wanted to give you a quick update on the BIOS Update 11 that's been released very recently for the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i that I have here with the RTX 4090. And I wanted to take a look at this after the BIOS update to see if there's been any effect to the way that the performance is being handled, particularly what's being delivered from that GPU in trying to push up to that 175 watts of maximum power uh, in games such as Hogwarts Legacy. So I'll be using that here for demonstration. So let's quickly talk about the BIOS update here. So BIOS update 11 was released very recently. I updated this yesterday and I've been testing since. Uh, do keep in mind that once you perform this update and you go back to your device here, you will lose the CPU overclock setting. So you'll need to boot back into the BIOS using the F2 key uh, during the boot sequence. And you may need to press Fn plus F2, depending on how you've got your uh, configuration in the BIOS. But you'll need to go back in, enable uh, CPU overclock again, as well as a few other settings that get disabled after the BIOS update has been applied. Once you've re-enabled it, you'll get your CPU overclock settings back. As you can see here, the only thing I've done is basically uh, undervolted the CPU by 50 millivolts. And the same thing has been applied to the cache voltage levels as well. I've got my GPU overclock turned on. This is the default overclock that uh, Lenovo applies out of the box using the Vantage software. I've got 160 megahertz on the GPU clock and 300 megahertz on the VRAM clock. So I've been just playing around with this and boosting it a little bit further. I'll be talking about uh, how to overclock in a separate video here. And other than that, I've got network boost on, no other things are connected. I'm gonna switch here from comfort or uh, quiet mode into the balanced mode since this is supposed to be the best case scenario for uh, running using the Legion AI uh, chip that's actually physically built into this device that's supposed to help you maximize performance and learn, for, learn from the different workloads that you apply onto this laptop. So whether it's editing, media consumption, just working in normal usage and browsing, or in this case, particularly gaming. So let's see if that gives us any boost, if there's been any change whatsoever to the performance. And we'll be testing and demonstrating here using uh, the uh, using the Hogwarts Legacy as a game. In my previous testing, it's been getting around 150 watts. It wasn't really going much above that. So I'm curious to see if applying this update it really has really affected that performance at all. And I'll demonstrate here the performance mode as well as the custom mode settings that I've got set. And I'll talk about those in just a moment. So we'll try to keep this short. Let's jump in here and I want to demonstrate what's happening with uh, the performance. So let's go into Hogwarts Legacy. Okay, so after enabling those settings again, overclocks for the CPU and the GPU, here we are sitting in Hogwarts Legacy, and I've, I've got my uh, settings enabled here, or my overlay enabled. Let's just take a quick peek at the settings, and we'll talk about what the performance looks like after BIOS Update 11, as well as the significant update to this game here, Hogwarts Legacy. So I'll demonstrate here what my settings are. Let me just toggle my on-screen display. And if we go over to settings here, I'm running at 2560 by 1600. That's the native resolution of this display with DLSS set to quality upscaling mode. I have turned frame generation off because it was causing a lot of stuttering and weird artifacting effects and just jittery gameplay. Uh, per some of your recommendations in the comments and also reading around on the web, turning this off seems to give a lot more stable gameplay and that has definitely been the case here. So I've got this turned off. And Nvidia Reflex is set to on plus boost and I've left my frame rate to be uncapped. Other than that, I've turned some of these goodies off that I do not like because it just gives some visual artifacts that I'm not a big fan of. Uh, in terms of the quality settings, I've got everything cranked here to ultra as well as all of the ray tracing is turned on and it's set to ultra quality. So let's see here what kind of performance we're getting after the update. All right, so with the CPU and GPU overclocking re-enabled and the BIOS update 11 applied, we're now still running at around 150 watts in this particular game. As you can see here that the CPU, uh, or excuse me, the GPU is sitting at around 88, 89% usage. So I don't think it's actually taxing the GPU all that much, uh, but it is a much smoother gameplay experience. I'm, I'm seeing much less jitteriness, stutteriness uh, due to the frame generation being enabled. There is still the occasional stutter or jitter, but I think it's much improved. So. From what I was seeing before, it's a significant improvement. It's much, much more playable as a game now and much more enjoyable since I don't have to worry about those weird stutters and uh, yeah, the artifacting that was I was seeing in the game. So at this rate, which is basically the, uh, I'm running right now at rasterization performance. So 
not using any of the frame generation tech, just DLSS with quality settings. It's around 60 to 90 frames per second, depending on what you're doing and what part of the game level you're on. As you can see here, flying around, it's a solid 60. So it's very, very acceptable. And the noise level is pretty well, uh, but we're not getting over 150 frames per, or excuse me, 150 watts here. So now let's switch over to the performance mode and see if there is a difference here. All right, let's go to Lenovo Vantage. We'll toggle performance mode. And immediately for a moment, I saw it kick up to about 170 watts. So I'm very hopeful here, guys. And let's see what we're gonna get. All right, so let's pop some of these balloons. We'll come right around here. So it does seem to be, I want to say that it's going above to about 160 but I really can't be sure let's play a little bit here see what it does oh come on bank the turn there we go and we bank for this one a little bit up and the last one there we go <coughs> Alright, and that's the last guy, there we go, pop those balloons. Alright, so we can see here that's still at about 150, it's kind of trying to get up to 160 watts, still nowhere near that 175 watts. Another thing you'll need to keep note of is once you apply BIOS update number 11, it will reset all of your settings, plus you'll need to go back into any of the settings that you had within Lenovo Vantage, any you know, PL1, PL2 limits that you may have changed and readjust those back to the previous numbers that you had applied uh, because all of those get reset as well. So let's jump back and now finally we'll demonstrate the custom mode. So I'll show here what my settings are. I've left the, the, the short-term power limit to 119 watts. Don't really care about that too much. For long-term power limit, I've got it set to 70 watts. CPU temperature limit, I've cranked it to 100 degrees. I don't care. Uh, same thing with cross-loading power and also the total pro processor power target for AC. When it's plugged into the wall, I've got this set to 70 watts as well. GPU limit, I've also cranked this to 87 degrees. Uh, my TGP for the GPU is 150 watts plus a 25 watts dynamic boost. So maximum power to that GPU. And I've also turned down the PLU, so how long the CPU boosts up. 20 here so that's my custom settings that I like to apply and as for can fan I like to leave it to this custom setting which kind of ramps up the fans as you get a uh, higher and higher usage and temperatures I think that's totally fine it's acceptable changing this to full increases the sound level significantly but it really doesn't offer you all that performance but for the sake of argument here we'll test it this time in the full fans mode and let's switch back here so now we can see as we're flying around all right, let's take a big dip. Yeah, so still around 140 watts. And 150, 140 to 150. So still not the significant numbers or any change that I was hoping to see with this particular update. So I think that's that's about all we'll do here is we'll, we'll wrap it up there. And uh, if you have any questions, guys, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share on your social media. And subscribe to my channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.